Hey everyone, welcome back to another mind-blowing update in the world of AI and wearable tech. Today, we're diving into Meta's cutting-edge ARA Gen 2 glasses, and trust me, these aren't your ordinary smart specs. They've got built-in sensors that track your eyes, hands, and even your heartbeat. Imagine stepping into tomorrow's world right now. Researchers are already using these glasses to train AI and robots in real time, and it honestly feels like we're living five years ahead of schedule. We reimagined a wearable device with a sensor suite that could perceive as you perceive, and in doing so, enables the development of a new generation of artificial intelligence that has a better understanding of who you are and makes possible new advancements in robotics. Project Aria, from the outset, was designed to begin a revolution around always-on human-centric computing. We're excited to announce the next step in our journey, the second generation of Aria glasses. With Gen2 glasses, we are building AI capabilities with a deeper understanding of the wearer's context and the environment. Aria Gen2 is the perfect tool for researchers pushing the boundaries of AI and AR. What you see here is the same as this. We have upgraded the sensor suite with additional computer vision camera, for enhanced location and embody tracking. We have increased battery capacity by over 40% without a weight increase. The device features a contact microphone and special microphones. It can distinguish between your voice and those of bystanders. Aria Gen 2 determines your location, both indoors and outdoors. Advanced eye tracking camera tracks your gaze to understand what you're looking at and tracks your hand to identify the object you're interact with, all while monitoring your heart rate for a comprehensive understanding of your well-being. To introduce the ability to process a lot of the signals on the device in real time. As soon as you do that, you move away from the context of data collection and processing later. Then we can start to interact with the user, not just research what might be possible, but actually experience it. Help me pick up some red onions. Taking you to red onions. Red onions are here. Very important parts of Project Aria has been building partnerships with companies and academic research labs that have reached far beyond our own. We stay committed to research processes that safeguard personal information. The journey with second-gen Aria glasses is just the beginning. Imagine what the research community can achieve with a device that closes the gap between machine and human perception. Together, we can unlock an understanding of what it is to experience reality as we do. What really caught my eye is how these glasses benefit people with disabilities. A company called Envision is adapting the ARA Gen 2 to assist those who are visually impaired. The glasses guide users through environments, providing spatial awareness in ways that were once unimaginable. It's a great reminder that while ChatGPT and other AI tools are fun, the true game changer is how we harness tech to improve everyday lives, especially for folks who need it most. Those things that you don't know what you got till it's gone. And that was kind of the case with my vision when I lost it at 31. The challenges that we face, you know, just simply with visual navigation, you lose a level of independence with that. For a lot of people who are blind and have a low vision, independence almost always meant access to information. ARIA enables us to combine technologies like artificial intelligence and spatial audio that make the visual world accessible for people who are blind or have a low vision. It was amazing to see how a lot of our feedback was incorporated in building a Gen 2 device and also by keeping accessibility as one of the focus points. This is a truly collaborative effort between Envision, Lighthouse San Francisco and Meta. We really want to go out and co-design with the community and try to learn from their experience. They actually want to try out these technologies. They're really excited. Sharon has been testing these features, giving us early feedbacks. GPS just doesn't work indoors. We need a different mapping and navigation technology. Usually when you listen to sounds over headphones, they'll sound like they're inside your head. Spatial audio is a technology that lets you play sounds over headphones that seem like they're coming from a real location out in the world. And all you have to do is follow that sound. You put the glasses on and you just talk to it like you talk to a friend. Hey Meta, help me pick up some apples. Certainly. Follow the sound to locate the apples in the store. It'll start playing a beacon sound from the location within the store. The glasses can actually map as they are being used. We can allocate different points and label it with items that should be there in that space. Apples are here. You can ask any kind of a question. What apples are here? They have Granny Smith, Cosmic Crisp, and Honey Crisp apples. I'll get Granny Smith apples. Help me pick up red onions. Taking you to red onions. Red onions are here. Is this a red onion? Yes, this is a red onion in your hand. Just to have the freedom to walk into a grocery store and navigate to what I wanted. It was efficient, it was fast, it was just amazing. That's all I need today. Take me to the checkout counter. Sure, guiding you to the checkout. This isn't ready to ship out the door. 
the second. But what's exciting is for how many people this appears to be working really well. Without these partners, we would have not been able to do what we did today. Thank you. Have a great day. When we look at someone like Sharon, pick the groceries that she wants on her own. That emotion is incredible. If you're a Meta fan, you might have heard about the updated Ray-Ban smart glasses. They're already on the market and they're surprisingly practical. AI is built right in, so you don't have to wait for the ARA Gen 2, which isn't available to consumers yet. These Ray-Ban versions offer a taste of what's coming next. Da, play some music. Hey Meta, look and trance like this. Send a voice message to Laura on WhatsApp. Hey Dad, what you doing? Just checking on you, just hurry back when you can. You guys cooking? Say hi to mom. Hey y'all, guess where we're at? Festival! Woo! Oh, look who is here. Ooh, you look amazing. Hey Meta, take a video. Nice. Hey Meta, how many tablespoons are in a cup? Hey Meta, look and tell me what kind of butterfly that is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes sir. My turn. Yes. Yeah. 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 I uh, I started putting together a team of the best people in the world to uh, to build these glasses. And the the requirements are actually pretty simple, but the technical challenges to make them are insane. Um, you know, they they need to be glasses. They're not a headset, no wires, less than 100 grams. Uh, they need wide field of view, holographic displays, sharp enough to pick up details, <laughs> bright enough to see in different lighting conditions, large enough to display a cinema screen or multiple monitors for working wherever you go, whether you're you know, in a coffee shop or on a plane or wherever you are. And you need to be able to see through them. And people need to be able to see that through them too and make eye contact with you. Right? This isn't pass-through. This is the physical world with holograms overlaid on it. So if someone messages you, uh, you will see that, and instead of having to pull out your phone, there will just be a little hologram, and with a few subtle gestures, you can reply without getting pulled away from the moment. Or, if you want to be with someone who is far away, um, they're going to be able to teleport as a hologram into your living room, as if they're right there with you. You're going to be able to tap your fingers and bring up a game of cards or chess or holographic ping pong or whatever it is that you want to do together. You can work or play or whatever. Looking ahead to 2030, Google's co-lead on Project Gemini predicts that AI assistance and smart glasses will be the norm, offering real-time solutions and advice. It makes sense. Grabbing your phone every time you need help is clunky. Glasses, on the other hand, fit naturally into our daily routine. So keep an eye out because the future is closer than you think. In 2030. I, I think just more is always going to be better. Like, <laughs> like, I, I, like if you just kind of think about, okay, like what fraction of world GDP will be, you know, uh, uh, will people decide to spend on on AI yeah. uh, at, at that point? And then, like, okay, what what do the AI systems look like? Well, maybe it's some sort of personal assistant like thing that is in your glasses and can see everything around you and has access to all your digital information and the world's digital information and like maybe it's like you're Joe Biden and you have the earpiece in the cabinet <laughs> that can advise you about anything in real time um, and solve problems for you and give you helpful pointers or you could talk to it and you know, it, it wants to analyze like anything that it sees around you for any potential useful uh, impact that it has on you. So, I mean, I, I can imagine, okay, and then then say it's like your, okay, your personal assistant or your personal cabinet or something, and that every time you spend 2x as much money on compute, the thing gets like 510 IQ points smarter or something like that. And okay, do you would you rather spend like $10 a day and have an assistant or $20 a day and have a smarter assistant, uh, you know, uh, and not only is it an assistant in life, but an assistant in getting your job done better because now it makes you from a 10x engineer to a 100x 